did you do? I kissed her, bro. By mistake, I was like, I was practicing. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the Rudy Gobert, man. But yeah. And Rudy Gobert, he ruined the NBA for everybody, nah, bro. Bro, it was actually crazy because <laughs> that is really what set it off. Yeah, that that was when everyone's like, oh, this is yeah, serious. Yeah, I know. And he ruined everything. Was he the first celebrity to get it? Yeah, I think so. One of them. Or like Tom Hanks. But, but he, I think he was the first one to clown it because he was like, he, after the interview, he was like, oh, I don't believe in that shit. And, he touched and he's every the one single, that got it. Every single mic, bro. This guy. And, like, <laughs> and then uh, one game was canceled. Boom. Yeah. Other game was canceled. Now they're in the stupid bubble, bro. In the bubble. Yeah. Yo, where's Toronto right now then? Are they in a bubble mean? again? No. Nah, they're not in the bubble. They're not in the bubble? Nah. So where, where, where are they? Actually... I actually don't know. I don't know. I because the season started. I think they are back in the bubble. Are they back in the bubble for the season? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you know the um the NFL the NHL bubble was supposed to be held here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because someone sick. told me someone told me that they're like, yo, you know, um, we can just see bare like NHL players. No way. Yeah. Oh, that maybe that's because we have like bare ice rinks and shit. Yeah. In, in no, that's what, that's what I'm saying. And uh, that hotel right beside the. The stadium is that where that's where all the players stay. Oh, where? Yeah. What's it called? Um, is Four Seasons? Yeah, some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. No, yeah. remember, uh, at the Raptors parade. Yeah. Where that that road and then that was a big hotel. That's where everyone like. Oh, yeah. that spot. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's sick. I know. Fuck? Was that last year? What the Raptors? Yeah. That was last year, 2019. No, that's so crazy. Oh, f that was yeah. 2019. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. That's why I was like, yo, we really won a championship last year. A lie. When's the next time that's gonna happen? Like. Bro, Not for a long time. Thinking I was sick at that time, but I still went to like to that game five because I knew I knew in my if you were downtown, you, there was some good luck about to happen. <laughs> there was some good luck about to happen, so I'm like, nah, I'm gonna just go. That was crazy, yeah, bro. I know. I still remember like Freddie hit that hit that three. Oh, and he and was he's screaming. Like, oh. yeah, yeah. He was, and the slow motion. I swear I wanted to cry. I, I, I almost teared up. Man. That that was when we were like, oh, we won. Yeah, the most iconic moment. That, that moment, that moment he screamed yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's like, oh, we won, we won. Facts. That's and, game. And then the, the blood on. His eye and shit like yeah, that was like, so ah. hard, bro. Nah, that, that was, was so iconic, cool. bro. I want to relive that, man. A lot, not sick because I had to go home early mm. and the trains and stuff. Okay, yo, let's say you could relive memories mm -hmm. like in a simulation oh, type okay, thing. Okay, would yeah. you do it? Yeah, for sure. Because you know how you know how there was always talks about like a dream simulator, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can live your dream, whatever dream you had, uh -huh. you can go in back into that dream oh, and, yeah, and, and sure. live it. Yeah, imagine if you could do that with memories. I think there was a movie with uh. Peter Dinklage. Yeah. It was it was a movie about like he can replay memories and then go back into that exact moment. Whoa. Yeah, and it was like a murder mystery movie. It was so dope. Really? I forgot what it's called though. If someone knows, hit me up in the comments. I forgot that movie. I would called. relive the moment where you went to the Killy concert because I didn't go because I had uh, a test. I had an exam. <laughs> I went because I remember what was that story you told me? Because you you like you you had an exam the next day or something crazy. Oh yeah. Like, I had an exam the next bro. day, but I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Killy. Yeah. And then I was standing in the crowd, like yeah. near the front, mm -hmm. and I pull out my phone to re start <laughs> recording because I know, oh, something crazy is about yeah. to happen. I, I pull out my phone, my phone's coming up, and then Killy's in front of me because he jumped into the crowd. Bro, if you have to put that video. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the was, video it up. It was you, and then you're partying, <laughs> and then you tell the camera. Yeah, like, and it's Killy's, and it's like, Killy. Killy's right beside me. It was yeah, crazy. It's Killy. Like when he jumped, he was literally right on top of us. No, facts. Like right in front of me, and then when I took the video, he was already like moving towards the, the yeah. stage. But damn, I, I, I could I could have got like a, a selfie with him if I had yeah. my phone ready. No, facts. But I was like a split second late. And it was, yo, the, the video was so funny because you're like, hey, and then you're tilted just <laughs> yeah. like a centimeter, and he's right there beside you. No cap, I think that Kelly concert was it was so much crazier than I want to say like his now. No, any any artist that's outside of Toronto, just because really? the Toronto culture, yeah, with Kelly at the time, at the time, oh yeah, for sure, was crazy because he just dropped the album. Yeah, he just dropped the album. He was I want to say the peak of his career. Facts for sure. No, that, that's, why, that's why you told me, yo, you have to go because any concert after this might not be as exactly, live. yeah, exactly. I know, and it was it was true. Yeah, I was trying to go to the next one, but he he canceled. Yeah, because he did, that was like peak peak Kelly. Yeah, bro. After that, what was his um album with the blue? Surrender your soul. Surrender your soul. That had so yeah. Good. That's such a slept on album. I know. And people like remember when Takashi Six Nine said people like um his record label. 
the only reason why he's not that popping because they don't they don't spend money on him like that. Yeah, Killy has so much potential. You don't want. I know. Like, people don't understand. It's, it's because they only choose people that are very marketable. Yeah. So if they see an artist like let's say let's say a Roddy Rich, mm -hmm. Roddy Rich oh. fits the category as a marketable <laughs> face. You know what I mean? Thanks. A man like Killy, half Filipino, half half black. Yeah. Like Loki, he and the music he makes mm -hmm. isn't as marketable as let's say a Roddy Rich yeah, yeah, type of sure. type of rapper, right? Yeah. So that's why men like him don't make it out, which is sad. Yeah. I know. Because that's what we want to see in the city, right? I we want to see diversity like that. That's why, but like Drake too, like he hasn't really opened the doors for like, I mean, he has. He has, but he could do more. He could do, he could do so more. much yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, How can you be, I don't want to like yeah, slander yeah, on Drake know, like at all, never, yeah, yeah, never. Facts, facts. Like Drake's a goat. But he's, he's the key holder of the city, bro. Like, yeah, he can put on so much more people. He no, should, facts, he facts. should. Yeah, facts. I feel like it's going to, there's going to be a, become a time and a point where Toronto starts finally building a community. Because taking like Atlanta, they put each other on. Yeah, New York. we talked about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, did we? Yeah, we talked about it. Oh, we didn't, we didn't leak that episode. Yeah, we didn't leak that episode. <laughs> yeah, that probably is never going to come out, but like, yeah. But yeah, like Atlanta rappers, you're right. Exactly. Atlanta rappers, they put each other, they on the ladder like they help each other out it's like hand by hand Bro, hand if by you hand have a career in rap in Atlanta if you get the right connections you're already up yeah there. they'll they'll push you like up it's there crazy. but Toronto just hate, hate hate I know Toronto is like jealousy like murders yeah. people jealous of how well you're doing if you're almost at the mainstream yeah. they see that shit and they get jealous they'll yeah. pop you that's why that's why they tell once you make it out here get out <laughs> that's the only thing like presso oh yeah presso is smart he stayed in la oh did he he's out in la right now really i think i don't know i don't know where he presses yeah, that yeah. right now yeah. but he did he definitely moved to la yeah like he that's, he's, that's he's a not good move yeah like that's the smartest move fam exactly you know the rowdy rich you, i remember you were talking about rowdy rich uh who's the corvette guy the corvette mm. corvette they said if rowdy wasn't rich that's how we look like <laughs> I haven't seen him. The What's Corvette? his name? What's his name? I don't know. He was just—he's just the Corvette guy to me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing about TikTok, bro. Yeah. Like, there's so many, so many different tracks and so many different rappers now. I can't keep up, bro. Take in TikTok made that guy's whole career, and he linked. This is another thing. Yeah, he's from um Philly. Yeah, and uh Uzi made a song with him. Oh, where you see how Philly and stuff like that just they're yeah, collaborating. Yeah. That's shit. crazy. Exactly. That's crazy. I feel like Uzi only did that because he was in Philly, though. He's a Philly native, so so that's that's kind of mm -hmm. like Drake. Putting on someone else, cause Phil out in Philly, Uzi's like okay, wait. In the past five years, yeah, out of Toronto, who has Drake put on? I don't think anyone from, uh, cause he's beating Chromas. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Loki Drake put on Chromas though. Did he? Yeah, he said oh, dude, he I shouted out Chromas in yeah, War. Yeah, yeah, right. Did he? Are you stupid or dumb? No, headshot Chromas, something like that. that. Okay, that's no, that's not. I don't that, think that he, was a, he, he's shouted out Chromas. I don't think that's a direct shout out to Chromas. In in war, yeah, it was headshot Chromas Domas because Chrome Chrome is like a gun. No, no, but but he said, "Are you stupid or dumb?" That's what Chromas says. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. Headshot Chromas, you're right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but you see how little a bar like that can build someone's just coming from Drake. Now, not only that though, but like I think he. I think he said something in an interview one time. Yeah. Oh, it was when he, he we won. It was when we won the championship. Oh, when yeah. he won the championship. Are, are you stupid? Are, are you stupid? Are you dumb? <laughs> yeah, are you stupid? Yeah, are you yeah, dumb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, if if Drake says, "Yo, uh, jumpers jump, uh, sales." Yeah. <laughs> Merch. If Drake says that, we crazy. <laughs> TikTok clout. Every, yeah. Everything, everything, bro. No, but for real, I don't know if I can name a Toronto rapper that got put on by Drake like that. Yeah, off the top of my head, nope. Cause Damn. he's put on everyone else, like Lil Durk, yeah, <laughs> Black Boy JB. Yo, do you know about the Drake effect though? Oh, like anyone, anyone he collaborates, like Lil Baby. Yeah, no, you no, no, falls off. Usually falls off. Like they. Nah, 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 nah. People don't want a feature with Drake just because they don't want him to buy it. Cause Black Boy JB, like you said, what is he doing right now? Lil Durk. Didn't no, really, bro. He didn't okay, really blow up. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something. All right. This is why Drake's the goat. Yeah. Okay, Drake. He's so smart with his marketing. Yeah. He finds rappers that are on their way to the top uh -huh. and then catches them right before they hit it. So yeah. look at look at Lil Baby when they drop. What's that track? Ben New Whip got new key. Yeah. That one, right? The, the Lil Baby track with yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah. How do we not know the name? I know. I'm, I'm bad with names, bro. Okay, anyways, that track with Lil Baby, mm -hmm. that track would have bumped anyway without Drake. Yeah. But the fact that Drake's on it, people say Drake put Lil Baby on. Oh yeah? Feel me? Now he did the same thing with Blockboy JB. Mm -hmm. Low key, that Blockboy JB track would have bumped yeah. even without Drake. Like this is hypothetically, yeah, right? Yeah. Hypothetically. Oh no, for sure. But the fact that he is on it said Drake put him on. Yeah. Feel me? Because it's featuring Drake. It's not it's not. Uh, yeah, Drake exactly, exactly. Now now listen, now listen. 
look at uh Travis, Travis and Drake on sicko mode. Oh yeah. Like before, I, I'm not saying Drake put on Travis, but mm. but before Travis became this huge franchise, no, that's this fact. huge figure, no, that's like he fact. was already big. Don't get me wrong, yeah. he was huge. But <laughs> sure. before he wasn't as big, and when Drake dropped that track Sickle Mode, yeah, all of a sudden, boom, skyrocket. Yeah, that's fast. crazy. Did you see the DJ Academics uh, oh, reaction? DJ. So he played Sickle Mode on the stream, and then he was like, he was like, yo, because when Drake said. Yeah, yeah, or something like yeah. that. Yo, yo, yeah. <laughs> it was so drunk. Like, Let's go. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, DJ Academics is the biggest Drake dick rider, bro. No, no, fa- but and the Takashi dick rider. No, nah, but his friends with Takashi. I mean, yeah, but he, uh, bro, DJ Academics is just a dick rider in general. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. But yeah, shout out Aklo. Shout out Ak. <laughs> Imagine we go on this thing. He low key, he low key researches a lot, bro. Yeah, he does. He does. And he, this to him, he'll take it so personal, bro. Like, relax, bro. <laughs> you're up, fam. You're up. That's what Discord does to man. Nah, nah. He, he's a goat in that realm of like content creator, though. Yeah, he's he's a sure. goat. He's a goat. For sure. Because who did that? Who started all that um, rap? Uh, rap drama. New, yeah, rap news, rap drama type thing. It's, it's act. act. It's act. Yeah. act. yeah. DJ Academics. That's facts. <laughs> I always think about f-ing. Remember Joe Budden and Lil Yachty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when yeah. Joe Budden's like f-ing flaming yeah, Yachty yeah. and Yachty's like, Yo, chill. <laughs> Yo, chill. Out. Like, I'm just having fun. Yeah. Like, that's really all it is. It's all heads versus new heads. Yeah, I know. And the Migos. Remember Joe Budden with the Migos? Oh, yeah. He's like, wrap it up, bro. The Migos said, what? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, about the go back to the memories type thing. That was definitely one thing I would do. The ki- the a ki- any concert because mm. I missed the Cardi concert too. That was yeah. crazy. Damn, Cardi concert for sure is like one of my favorite moments as what like a went? hype moment. I mean, uh, no, Killy concert. My bad. Okay, a Killy, Killy concert. concert. Yeah, I missed the Cardi concert. Yeah. Yeah. What would you? What would you do again in your memory? In my memory, if I go back. Yeah, and just just redo. Um, I definitely want to do prom again for sure. Really? Yeah. Would you? Would you? What would you change? No, nah, I just want to relive it. It's, it's fun. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I want to relive prom again. Facts. I don't know. That's hard. How about you? <laughs> I don't know. I have to think about that one. Yeah, I know. Oh, probably my LA trip. Yeah, LA trip. Yeah, because I feel like there's way more to do in LA, but we were more of the the sightseeing. No, nah, but, but okay, okay. Would you say your LA trip as like, as like the whole thing, or would you just say it because? Like you wanted to go back to LA because you can just go back to LA. Feel yeah, me? Yeah. You don't have to relive that exact moment. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm saying like exact moment. I don't know. Low key, I want to relive the first day I dropped Weco Studios and I sold out. Really? Yeah, just that was so that crazy. Word. I knew you were because so I proud. dropped it on my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Sold out in literally like first 15? two first two hours. First oh, two it was hours. two hours. First two hours. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And then that was because that was the beginning, right? Yeah, that was like the first <laughs> online. Little did I know. Two months later, I'd be selling out in minutes. Like 15, bro. It's crazy. It's now, it's now it's crazy because it's like a numbers game. You know how in rap, like, oh, how much you sell out first week, mm. right? Yeah. Between me and you, it's like, okay, I did two hours. Yeah. Oh, I did 15 minutes though. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. But it's like good friendly competition that keeps you going. Yo, but it's never like a comp. Because I look at it as I never compete with someone else. I compete with myself. Oh, then you're never going to lose. Exactly. You're never going to That's lose. how that's how you never lose. You compete with yourself. Yeah. If you can do better than yourself, yeah. then you're you're the one that's winning. Yeah, but you know you're mean? definitely one of my biggest inspirations to that. Like, sure. I'll, I'll compete. I'll just like fake compete with you because I know that'll just push me harder. Respect, respect. Because <laughs> negati- negativity kind of drives me, bro. Yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel. Cause, cause it, someone needs that that like uh, rivalry. No facts. To, to push them harder. Facts. You know? If there's no inspo, then what are you doing? Mm. I see. I see all the stuff you you post, like the tie dye mu stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, back to the lab. You feel me? <laughs> that's what I'm like, saying. Damn, I gotta go harder. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. No, that's good though. That's good. Nah, Cause that's how that's how people grow. Yeah. Cause if if you're always like. I want to say focus on not it's not like if you're focused on yourself is bad yeah but if you're only focused on one thing mm-hmm. you don't see how others are doing it you know what i mean oh facts you kind of have to study like other people yeah to find the best out of yours yeah exactly like like tarantino said oh yeah quentin tarantino said <laughs> good artists mm-hmm. copy but great artists steal. steal yeah now if you look if you look at any piece of art right now mm-hmm. i don't want to generalize it but take a look at any piece of art that piece of art was inspired by something no matter what. Facts. I mean, Facts. whether it have been a moment in time, mm-hmm. whether it had been something they've seen before, it was inspired. Yeah. And a lot of the times it's inspired by another artist. Yeah. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're copying, but 
it may mean they're stealing it yeah, in a good make, way. In a good better, way. Yeah. Right? Because look, you can steal, let's say, a design, mm -hmm. right? You can steal a design, but get away with it as in making it your own. Yeah. When I say steal, I don't mean steal and yeah, rip like, off. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying rip off. Rip yeah. off is terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, don't f***ing rip off nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like a design, take inspo from this. Mm -hmm. Now you see another artist, take inspo from that. Yeah. I see Virgil doing this, take a little bit of this. Yeah. I see Sean Witherspoon doing this, take a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean? Then you make your own and that's yours now. Because everything's been done. Yeah. So you can't literally come up with a, you can come up with an original idea, I guess, mm -hmm. but a hundred, like 97%, that are, idea is already out somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like look at even ancient aesthetics. Like if you're looking towards Japanese culture oh, and stuff sure. like that, yeah. a lot of the designs with like what's even going on right now with a lot of neo-Japanese kind of designs oh, yeah. and aesthetics 100%. and like with the Zen gardens and stuff oh, like that. 100%. Like that's ancient stuff. People just like brought back, brought from yeah, back know. then from yeah. other artists. It's all just like inspiration. That's what I'm saying. And shout out to the guys who copied the Juco Studios designs and just like that. That's <laughs> okay, rip that's off. rip off. That's, that's rip off. off. Yeah, that is rip off. If you guys are just copying my shit, exactly, and doing the exact same design, exactly, bro, and doing the exact same three M on sock, come on, yeah, bro, exactly. I started that shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like, no, nah, but I see it. It's crazy because I see it on Pinterest. I see it on everywhere. Oh yeah, men's, are, men's follow me. Yeah, <laughs> not knowing that I'm your friend, like I'm your one of your best friends. Yeah, not knowing that. And they follow me and do Ooh, it, with yo. the fake account. Yeah, and they're like, "Yo, you should check out my account." I'm like, bro, and I sent your account. They're like, oh shit, <laughs> and then they block me, and then they block me. Yeah, bro. But yeah, but that's how you know you're doing something right when other people see you. Yeah, and they're like, "Damn, yeah, I want to do that too." Oh, so yeah. they they cop they try and rip off your shit. Yeah, that's low key a big way of flattering. Mm -hmm. This is totally like out of the blue, mm -hmm. but uh, some guy DM me, right? Yeah. And you know that necklace I always wear? Which one? The, the, the Vivian Westwood? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, where'd you get that? I'm trying to cop one for Christmas. Yeah. And today he sent me a picture mm -hmm. of him wearing it. Yeah, yeah, him, yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> But yeah. But yeah, LA trip, I would definitely redo. Mm -hmm. Yo, you know where I want to go, man? Where? I read so much. I like, I do heavy research on Japan and stuff. I've been trying to go. I've been I trying to go. I to go to Japan, bro. Yeah. Bro, you can go. I've seen like, you can cosplay and dress up as your favorite Mario ca character and go go-karting. Yeah, you can go-karting in the That's streets. So yeah. Sick. That's how I wanted to get my um international driver's license because you need that to drive. Oh, for real? Yeah. Something like that. Really? Yeah. Because because when, when, when you you literally drive on the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like in, other cars. in Tokyo, it's, yeah, yeah. it's dope. It's like, dope as well. Imagine seeing that, like. That's so sick. Mm -hmm. But yo, have you heard? You know about Kawaii, right? Like the Kawaii and the fashion stuff out there? Kawaii? Kawaii yeah. Leonard? <laughs> no, no. Kawhi, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. Kawaii. Bro, I've seen some, I was. Uh, I watched this documentary last mm. night, right? I don't know if you've heard about Yami Kawaii. What's that? It means like sick, cute. What? So like so like the fashion stuff in Japan, there's there's that nice Kawaii side, but then mm. there's like a dark side of that where they, they wear like syringes around their necks. Oh, pills, yeah. Pills. Their accessories are like... Like some, all the grotesque stuff Damn. that you can believe. Yo, That's, Japanese people are different, bro. They're really different. They're, they're living in like 2025. Yeah, no, <laughs> Honestly. Bro, they, have, they have food vending machines, dog. Yeah. Like imagine, okay, I'm going to work. Get like a quick. Get like a hot meal. Like out a of the vending machine. ramen, like yeah. all the, like the additions to That's it. That's why they're so healthy too, eh? I know. Have you seen those videos where they go to a Japanese like grocery store? Or not grocery oh. store to a, a gas station, Japanese gas station, and they have like the healthiest food <laughs> in the gas station. Seven Eleven, you get wings here, like they're freaking rotten. Yeah, and stuff you get like freaking that. taquitos. Yeah. So what do you get? Like pizza, yeah. nasty pizza that's been there for like the whole week. Facts, bro. And then in, when you go to Japanese like gas stations, they have like full bowls of yeah, ramen, like full ready meals, yeah. hot rice. Fung Bros, I watch all the Fung Bros videos. Yeah, <laughs> what, what's your favorite like? Asian snack. Asian snack. You know what I like? The high chews. As high chews. Yeah. High chews are sick. High high chews are good. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like gum, but it's not gum. It's not you know, gum. it's just candy, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah. My my hands down favorite though yeah. is the the panda the panda cookies with with the cream inside. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, I Hello the, panda. Hello yeah, yeah. panda. Yeah. yeah. And the pockies too. Pockies. Oh yeah. Too. Pockies goaded too. But yeah, the the panda stuff. I always get those. Those are my favorite. Okay. Do you like the chocolate or strawberry? I like the chocolate. I like both, but I, but I think strawberry. strawberry for me is more nostalgic. Really? Because I, I had to <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think, yeah, I had to think about like strawberry flavored snacks, bro. <laughs> like strawberry milk back then is nostalgic to me. Yeah, people roasted you on strawberry milk. I know. People I, I was are saying the one like, who roasted you. <laughs> what's wrong with strawberry milk? I don't know. Strawberry milk just doesn't taste like anything to me. What? Strawberry milk is fire, bro. You ever, okay. Okay, strawberry milkshake. 
You tell me strawberry milkshake doesn't okay, taste strawberry good. Strawberry milkshake. Exactly, it's the same but thing. But strawberry milkshake is just like it's like a bit of taste of strawberry and just just water. It, bro. It's it's not it's not like I don't like chocolate. I love chocolate. Chocolate is <laughs> yeah. my. I probably like chocolate more than strawberry. Yeah. But strawberry to me, just the fact that when I was little, I used to always eat the strawberry flavored really? stuff. Really? Yeah. So it's like nostalgic. So it just brings me back. Oh no, that's facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, strawberries. You know that um Nesquik thing where you, where you had. That's the, the one. That's the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Though, though, that's. One of the biggest childhood memories I have. Mm-hmm. Just get get in camping and yeah. having all your cousins around you just <laughs> passing around the, the syrup. Just mix it up, mix yeah, it up. Know, yeah. yeah, you ever do the chocolate and then the, the strawberry? No, I haven't. <laughs> I did it a few times. It's kind of gross though. <laughs> you weird ass kid. <laughs> and I used, you know what I used to do? What? I used to go to like Chuck E. Cheese and then when you get the... Um, the cups for soda. Yeah. I used to put every single drink in the soda. Really? <laughs> yeah. Only at Chuck E. Cheese, though. That's I don't know crazy. why I did it there. They, they shut down, right? Yeah, they're gone, bro. You know about the theory about the Chuck E. Cheese? There's no theory. There is. There is? Yeah. What's and the theory? Do you know how they recycle their pizza? <laughs> Ew, no, they don't. They do, 100%. What That's do you mean why? recycle the pizza? So, so uh, the pizza that they got from the garbage, they would just shut reuse. up. I promise you. You don't know about that? They don't do that. You don't know about that? That that was probably one of the biggest news in like 20, 2019. They recycled 20, their pizza. They recycled their pizza. That's what they're saying. That's and that dirt. was actually proven. That's so dirt. Yeah, that's I think that was one of the biggest reasons they shut down. Damn, what the f And do you know about the five nights at Freddy's? It kinda goes to the same thing. Some person was No, nah, yeah, yeah. It was it was based off of yeah. uh Chuck E. Cheese. Oh yeah? Yeah. I didn't know that. Cause um like when you go to Chuck E. Cheese back then back in the day, you see those like Animatron stuffed animal yo. animatron people like those singing and playing guitar and shit. Out, yeah. yeah, that's the same thing in Five Nights at Freddy's. Facts. Yo, I played Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Oh, f- that. Bro, it's literally, I, as soon as I put it on, yeah. I was like, I looked through the doorway. Yeah. I was like, it's literally like you're working there, bro. Damn. And it walks by you. I'm like, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and nah, uh, it's, it's, that's something else, man. Yo, I'm, I'm looking too, I'm looking too scared of VR games. Yeah. Because especially the horror ones, that's oh. just going to f- with no, me. We should, yo, we should start a gaming channel and just play all the, because we're that, our niche is kind of like scary. Yeah, we, we should play that. I think we should do something like that. Yeah. yeah. It, it's funny because I feel like people think I'm into like scary shit. But you're it's not. It's totally opposite. You're not. <laughs> I'm not into scary shit at and all. We have a friend that's literally like not in like if you try to scare her, she's not. Yeah, we have a friend that's like not scared Remember of shit. Remember you went into the, the tell the story about that. Oh, yeah. so we went to the we went to this escape room, yeah, right? Bro. The escape room is pitch black. Fair. When I say pitch black, like you can't see nothing, right? <laughs> So the whole story was you're in a cabin yeah. and a murder happened in the cabin. Mm-hmm. And what you have to do, you have to listen to a little girl's voice mm-hmm. for instructions and how to escape. Yeah. So there's moments in the, in the, in the escape room uh-huh. where you have to do a conjuring at a table. Oh no! Nah. So you literally have to hold hands <laughs> with like your team members and nah. then they do a conjuring at a table. And this whole time, you're listening to a little girl's voice. Nah. Like, there's no instructions. You can't read nothing. Mm. You can't, like, find clues like that. Yeah. You have to listen to a girl's voice to tell you to touch stuff, oh, right? So this little girl's voice, she's like, okay, hold hands. We're going to do the conjuring, blah, 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 yeah. right? And this shit's, like, 4D. So they have a fake axe that bangs on the table. Oh, and you feel the no. wind come to your oh, face and shit like that. No. And then there's this one room where you put your hand into the wall. And there's a hand that grabs you. What? Fucked, bro. <laughs> and Shorty didn't flinch the whole time. Yeah, this, this Shorty was like, <laughs> nah, she, she's like Velma and f***ing Scooby-Doo, bro. Yeah, she's like bro. ready. Yeah, <laughs> facts. I wish I was there. I was in Mexico. Yeah, oh, man. Cheap. But yeah, man. Escape rooms. Yo, you know there's online escape rooms now? Online escape yeah, rooms? Yeah. So if like, if you- No, no, no. Online escape rooms been a thing though. Yeah, but it's not, it hasn't been popularized. Now it's popularized, you know? No, because I remember back in the day, like, um- Crazy Monkey Games and like Minicup, oh. they used to have escape room flash games. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, I think, yeah, I think that's, that's how it that. started actually. Oh, shit. Because I remember my uncle, this was like, fuck, I was like grade one. Yeah. My uncle was already playing like escape room games yeah. on, on like a flash website. Really? And and it only happened until like, I want to say 2012, 2013. That's when they started making physical escape rooms. I could really? be wrong. I could be wrong, yeah, but yeah. that's that's when I think it happened. Yeah, don't take our word for it, but that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, if I've seen because there was like top things to do if you're a couple right now and you don't have date ideas. Mm-hmm. It was an online escape room. Yeah. And it's not like no flash game. It's like professional. Like I think they'll take a camera and you'll, you'll guide them or something like that. That's dope though. I know. That's dope. It's like, But yeah, you don't like the scary stuff too. Like you're easily scared, but you know every like single scary stuff. Because <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Because if I'm going to, if I'm going to dive into like a, a scary movie or like a horror thing. Yeah. It's, it's not for me to like 
enjoy it yeah. necessarily. It's for me to like get interested into it really? or like just to me to find out. Yeah. Like when I watched Midsommar, oh, yeah. I was more intrigued uh-huh. rather than scared. Oh, you know? Yeah, Feel sure. me? Yeah. But Midsommar is not even like scary. It's not scary. It's, it's not scary. Like, it's like, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. Yeah. 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 Same with, you did, did you watch Hereditary? Yeah. Yeah. You watched Hereditary. Yeah. So Hereditary, for example, like, Hereditary, I didn't, right? I didn't watch Hereditary because I wanted to get scared because yeah. I don't want to get scared. Really? I watched it because I'm kind of like, intri- I want to know the story. Nah, I watched Hereditary because like you, because everyone's been telling me mm. like, yo, watch Hereditary. Yo, you're all the jump scares are perfect. You're going to, your mind yeah. for the next week is going to just be on that movie. Yeah. See, because I didn't want to get scared myself. I just want to see what it's about. Yeah. You know, because when, when my cousin put it on, she was like, oh, my friend, when she watched it. Yeah. Ever since she watched it, she was depressed for like a week. What? I'm like, damn, I gotta watch this movie then. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, because nah. I'm I'm like interested in that, right? Yeah. There was one time that I got really scared. I'll tell you, like, probably the most scared I've been. Yeah. So we were out in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. And uh, we were out there for just for a family trip, right? With mm-hmm. all my cousins. Yeah. So me and my cousins are staying in one house, mm-hmm. and then my parents, my parents, like, let them have fun. We'll go to another cottage. Yeah, yeah. Right. So this is literally us teenagers in a big ass in a big ass cottage, right? Mm-hmm. So at night we hear we hear knocks on the wall. Yeah. We're sleeping. It's like three a.m. Right. Mm-hmm. We hear knocks. So four four dudes. We're like, yo, what was that? You heard that? And we're out in Pennsylvania. No one is around us. Yeah. We don't have a vehicle to go. It's mad creepy out there. Shit. We go out the window. Mm-hmm. We don't see anything. We, we, we go to uh, sleep again. We go to sleep again. And me and my... We're all sleeping in the basement. Yeah. Where, where we have uh, the doors where like you can... See, there's a big window. So if anyone pops up, mm-hmm. it's the creepiest thing, Damn, right? Damn, bro. So, so this is what the girls did. Yeah, they yeah. They put a speaker under our bed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they put a piece... Oh, my God. Yeah. But the, it failed because it said... Uh, something not connected. <laughs> all the like, guys, all the guys were yeah. like, "What the hell was that?" Right? And because yeah. they were gonna play a knocking sound, mm-hmm. so the door would open or something like that. Oh but it shit! Said speaker not connected. I grabbed the ball. I like a ball from yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. I swear to God, I was about to throw it at the window. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably the the biggest time I got scared because I was like, "What is going on? Like, yeah. where's my mom?" Type thing. <laughs> Like, bro, I get scared. So I'm, I'm one of those jumpy ones, mm-hmm. those jumpy ones. <laughs> but I swear to God, if that, if it connected and there was a door knock, I mm-hmm. would have, I would have pissed myself in. Wait. <laughs> Cause we were downstairs, bro. Mm-hmm. That was probably the, the biggest time I got scared. That's like, that's like you in, inside the, the haunted house. <laughs> oh yeah. Fa- facts. Anything that pops up. I hate jump scares, bro. Yo, jump scares are the only thing. Nah, it's not the jump scares necessarily. It's the music that leads up to the jump scare. That's the shit I mean, that gets me. Yeah, no, that's facts too. Yo, music is so powerful that it can oh, like it make you feel that. Yeah, you know? but you kind of know it with music. You kind of know it's coming. No, nah, but even even though yeah. even though I know it's coming. Yeah. The oh, you know yeah. you know you know that sound I'm oh, talking about. Yeah. And it keeps rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, 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 and you kind of brace yourself. Yeah, and you're like, whoa, what's gonna happen? Yeah, what's yeah, gonna yeah. happen? Okay, no, I get yeah, that. I that's, get that. That though. shit scares me. No facts, but yeah, Christmas coming up, man. Well, what's your what's your top? Uh, Christmas movie that do you do you have one that always you always watch top Christmas movie Home Alone no no oh. Elf oh Elf Elf um, is my favorite Elf for is sure a banger. Elf is my favorite yeah, I don't think there's gonna be another movie that can top Elf like that really I don't think so I, no actually, for me I, for me yeah. no I love Elf and, and Home Alone mm. but you know there was some guy dressed up as Elf and you know in that scene where they kind of surprise I don't know if you saw that video where he dressed up as an Elf and surprised his uh daughter at school he was like look, look. oh yeah yeah i yeah, saw that i saw so that funny. that was on instagram yeah, yeah. it was so funny but yeah bro do you know the real origin of christmas wait <laughs> you, you told me this already no there's another one no stop there's another one no no tell me but this one okay so this theory about christmas yeah this is more of a corporate type of side of christmas okay, okay yeah all right look at it like this now people are saying like it's illuminati shit stuff like that (laughs) really now i don't want to i don't want to say like illuminati that's kind of a reach for me Mm -hmm. but it does make sense as a business standpoint now listen Mm -hmm. what's one thing christmas does it gets everybody to to buy. buy shit yeah right now christmas you can look at it as like the stimulus check for the economy every year mm no, nah, that makes sense. Because look, during COVID, we got stimulus checks to, to fix the economy, right? Yeah. Christmas is that stimulus check to keep the economy rolling every single year. Oh, yeah. If you look at it, Christmas is the biggest time everyone spends. Yeah. True or false? That's true. 
right? Yeah. Now, if I was the government, if I was like the, let's say Illuminati, yeah. right? That's yeah. controlling the, the population. Mm-hmm. I would want to push. Yeah, you're gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure everyone takes part in Christmas. Oh, facts. right. So everyone facts. spends their money like that, right? Because mm-hmm. that's what gets the ball rolling. That's that's what gets the yeah. economy rolling, right? Yeah. Now, the theory is, Santa, is actually, a, image of Satan. Huh? In the words of like Illuminati. Okay, I'm not saying I believe in this shit. Yeah. Like this is a reach for me, but like. Yeah. Santa, if you reorganize the the letters, what does it spell? Yo, <laughs> it spells Satan, bro. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. All right, all right, what's the color of the devil? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> the color of the devil is red. No, bro. All right, what is the devil attached to? Greed. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> and what is Christmas attached to? <laughs> Having lots of things, yeah, having yeah. lots of, whether it be toys, whether it be like nah, gifts, nah. like you want to have a lot of something, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Christmas, Christmas, no, no doubt was originally the celebration of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the theory is that the Illuminati wants to separate that idea that Christmas is part of Christ. Cause look at it now, bro. Like Christmas before it used to be the nativity scene mm-hmm. where we're thinking about baby Jesus in the, oh, that's all that. Yeah. Baby Jesus in the manger. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But now look at it. It's all Santa Claus wearing yeah. red, Santa Claus giving g- gifts, mm-hmm. this and that Christmas tree, yeah. snowflake, whatever. Say, right. That's, that's all it is now. Yo. That's all it is now. Commercialized like, it's so commercialized. Right. Yeah. The plan of the, this is, this is the theory. Yeah. The plan of the Illuminati was detach christ from christmas and make it this thing that just makes everybody buy stuff oh wow that's crazy what do you think about that i mean it makes it makes all it makes sense it makes sense right but like yo the fact that you said yo uh mix around the words for santa and then i was like oh shit like how do you spell santa yeah. s-a-n-t-a yo. mix it around bruh bruh no nah, i don't want to i don't want to think of that because lily Christmas is about Jesus, bro. Yeah. Like for 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 everyone everyone that believes in in Christmas, like mm-hmm. Christmas is about Jesus. Christmas yeah, is about yeah, that, right? Yeah. But you have to take in like why why are we putting all of these other images attached to it, right? Yeah. I know I was going to say like why why did they commercialize it so much? Cuz you know? it, it was Coke, Coca-Cola. Yeah, someone a lot of people have been calling yeah. this. Coca-Cola kind of brought the image of Santa, but they're the they're the ones that created the artwork of Santa. It's not that it's not that they created the idea of Santa. Oh. Because the idea of Santa came from St. Nicholas. Yeah. St. Nicholas, right? Mm-hmm. And there was already an idea of someone, I forgot, it was a pagan tradition. Uh-huh. Just like just like the shroom theory, right? Oh yeah. yeah. It's already a pagan tradition where uh-huh. they celebrate like stuff going down the chimney, mm-hmm. stuff and like that, right? Yeah. Now if you if you look at if you look at Santa Claus, Santa Claus really has nothing to do with christianity yeah at all yeah that's something man. i know for a fact there's some like super religious families that don't celebrate like santa claus and shit like that yeah. because because loki they because they know about that thing they know about like this isn't real this yeah. isn't true christmas where'd you read that off of i found this on youtube still really yeah yo you, you, we about to ruin christmas first we ruined christmas already with the shrooms <laughs> now, now it's santa claus Santa Claus devil merch coming out soon. <laughs> no, but I'm not saying I'm not saying Santa Claus is the devil. I'm not, not saying that. Yeah. Like this is just it, theory. Just theory. This we're is just fun and games. Just like, opening up your mind to stuff, yeah. bro. But yeah, uh, there's a theory because I, I read up on the because I was watching Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, is there any theories about the Home Alone? Mm. Do, do you know any about them? Nah. Do you know I'm in the movie um, Old Man Marley? Yeah, well, yeah when yeah. they were in the church and stuff, or, yeah. or like sitting. That's that's Kevin in the future. Oh, that, you that, think that? That's what they I were think saying. I heard that theory somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I heard that. <laughs> and they're saying this is the craziest thing ever. Yeah. They're saying that Kevin grew up to be that kid in 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 Saw. You know the kid riding what? around on the bike? How? Because he grew up around. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think I heard that theory because because yeah. Kevin was so obsessed with making like booby traps. Exactly, exactly, and he he knows all the interesting and malicious ways to to like hurt someone. Yeah. So that's why that's why he's the kid running uh biking around on saw. So his jigsaw. He's jigsaw. Saw. <laughs> jigsaw. Yeah. No, I heard that before. I heard that yeah. before because it, it's so true. Because like he's so good with those meticulous kind of booby yeah, traps yeah, and yeah. shit. Yeah. And that's what that's what jigsaw does. That, that's what jigsaw's, and that's why he's. That's that's Kevin right there. Yeah. <laughs>
yeah. That's dope. But yeah, fam. That's a dope theory. That's a dope theory. Yeah. But I was just reading up on that. I was like, there's not there's not a lot on Elf and stuff because it's just a happy movie. Yeah. But people's imaginations, fam. Mm-hmm. They, they think our imaginations are weird. Bro, imagine these people making up the theories. Facts. Like, bro. Facts. It's hard to come up with a theory yourself. I mean, I have a few theories, but I don't want to nah, give them facts, out yet. Facts, <laughs> and the show me can't say on you. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. You have to pay us for those. <laughs> <Sure>. A lot <laughs> of money. <laughs> no, nah, but we'll say we'll say those for y'all. Yeah, just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. But yeah, yeah. You, you have a new theory for us? Me? Yeah. Nah. 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 Cause I was. Do you have one? Um, let me think about it. Cause, bro, I was just last night. I was just into all the. Cause one of my biggest fears is um, what's below like open waters. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, bro, what is what is like? I know there's definitely way more stuff underwater. Yeah, bro. You ever heard of the Cthulhu? No, what the hell is that? Never heard of the Cthulhu? No, is this some Hawaii thing? Nah. So the Cthulhu <laughs> is like this octopus monster. It's kind of like the Kraken. Oh, I know about the Kraken. But it has wings. Oh, hell no. Like yeah. <laughs> octopus? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> All right, so listen, listen. So the Cthulhu is said to live in like the very depths of the ocean, right? Yeah, see, this is why I'm scared right. of open waters. Well, what really like boggles my mind is how these ancient like civilizations they would come up with stories like this yeah out of nowhere you know what i mean yeah they would come up with stories out of nowhere in my mind i'm like nah this gotta come from some type yeah. of like ancient, inspiration at yeah, least inspiration exactly. whether it be something they saw <laughs> yeah but like just just like inspiration they thought of like oh maybe this could be that yeah. right yeah all right so the mariana's trench mm-hmm. is the deepest part of the world yeah Right? Oh, yeah. We haven't even explored, what, like 80% of the ocean? I was reading about this, too. Mm-hmm. For all we know, the Cthulhu could live in the, <laughs> in oh, the Marianas Trench. 100%. Yo, for all we know, the city of Atlantis could be in the Marianas Trench. Yeah. But we don't know what's down there. Bro, That's do thing. you know, there was a, you know, the anglerfish mm-hmm. with the, the light sticking yeah, up? Yeah, 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 and Nemo. Uh, yeah, I, did, I didn't know that was an actual fish until yeah. there's pictures of it. It like underwater and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's that's a real fish. It lives yeah. in the Mariana Trench. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Like, who knows what's down there, right? Yo, Relax. scientists can tell us more about the moon than they can tell us about the, the Earth's the water. Yeah, yeah. They can tell us more about the moon than the Earth's water, yeah. which is crazy. You know, in the Mariana Trench too, they found I don't know, it was in 2011 or something. Mm-hmm. They found a rock structure yeah. that looked like a UFO, fam. Damn, what? Yeah, and I was reading up on it. I'm like, where? Where did they find this? Uh, in the Mariana Trench. Word? Yeah. Damn, they, it was like crazy. a rock, a rock structure that was kind of built like a UFO. Damn. And I was like, yo, are aliens real? Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, dead eye. Okay, come on. Like, there's no way we're the only beings in yeah, this universe. No, 100%. Right now, aliens can be whatever we want them to be. Yeah. Because what do, because if an alien is probably like, yo, what are we? There's yeah. probably an alien out there like, yo, what do what do humans look like? Exactly. Okay, yo. All right. There's this theory. Mm-hmm. I forgot who it was. It was like a Russian senator or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was like a very highly, highly respected person. Okay. And he was like kicked out of the Senate or some shit. Really? And he said, don't quote me on this. He said <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's like a council, an outer space council. And Trump is part of it. Oh. The US is part of it. Russia's part of it, uh-huh. like very high superpower. If you if you look at the superpowers of the world, yeah, he's saying they're all part of this like space council, mm-hmm. and they they communicate with extraterrestrials. I believe that. I kind of believe that because you know about Area Fifty One, right? Yeah, that, that's a locked off space. Mm-hmm. Yo, there, there's even um, I saw this guy on Joe Rogan's podcast. Mm-hmm. He was talking about like someone that used to work in Area Fifty One, and yeah. he straight up said there's aliens and there's f-ing spaceships see but no nah, do you know like why they started area 51 though because like they they just wanted to try out a recon drone and and that recon drone flew so high up mm-hmm. that it was just like a spectacle right yeah so people were saying that's the ufos oh but right. it was a recon drone so mm. so planes fly at like a certain height yeah and then it's like the recon drone is too is like way higher than that mm-hmm. yeah but there's a lot of things that you can't really explain yeah and when everyone's looking for answers, it's so easy to oh, like, no. oh yeah, okay, that's 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 what it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If if the government's telling us like, oh yeah, that that this is what it is, it's so easy for us to go like, oh okay, yeah, that's what it is. Like we can chill. We yeah, can chill. Exactly. Yo, all right, this is the this is probably the craziest theory I might say on the podcast. Okay, yeah. The the Illuminati mm-hmm. 
was Loki planning a new world order, right? You okay. heard that theory, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I believe in the Illuminati. I have to say that a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the theory is that from, from ancient times, from ancient times, right? Yeah. Ancient civilizations. Yeah. They knew the only way to control the whole world mm-hmm. as a whole is to have the aliens attack us. Listen, listen. So from ancient times, yeah. I forgot what Roman philosopher said it. Uh-huh. The only way for everyone to work together or for there to be a one government oh, system shit. is for an outside threat of the world. So then we band together type thing. The church knew this too. <laughs> the church knew this too. Yeah. Because look at it. Look at it. There's so many different leaders. There's so many different powers in the world, right? Mm-hmm. You can't really control the world. There's no way one person can control the world. Yeah. What's one way we can bring everyone together? If we're fighting against something else. a common enemy. Yeah. The one time the world has ever fought together world was war. when? The World Wars? World War II. Yeah. Nazi Germany, mm-hmm. the common enemy. Everyone worked together to fight them, right? Yeah. Now listen, what's on a different scale mm-hmm. to get the whole world attached? Yeah. A threat from the outside world <laughs> has to happen for us to all for, work together. Like all together. Yeah. Not just the military, like all of us. Yeah, exactly. So you think there's going to be an alien attack? Nah, I, okay, this is what I think. This is what I yeah. think. I think low-key, they might fake an alien attack. Mm. They might fake an alien attack. <laughs> Call it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, they might fake like aliens coming to Earth yeah. or a threat yeah. so that we all join this new order. Oh shit, the FBI just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, bro, like, <laughs> nah, that's f- man. It's crazy. Like, th- there's this, I forgot who it was. F- I, I saw this online. Yeah. Like, I don't know if this is true. Like, don't. Yeah. yeah. Anything I say on here, I, I I don't know exactly if it's true, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But shit, I saw this online. Uh-huh. This, this, this person, he was like a highly credited person. He said there's a, a council in space. Mm-hmm. And if you look at it, Donald Trump, what did he just announce? Space Force. Oh. Donald Trump just announced Space Force yeah. like this year or some shit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So what is Space Force? Come on. But you think aliens are like, so what's like your image of an alien? Bro, do an you, alien to they, me- Do you think they have like those high-tech guns? Those nah, nah not even, not even. To me, an alien could just be someone like, that looks like me. A human, right? Exactly, a yeah. human, right? Yeah. Now, they could look like a human, but technology, they could be way advanced or they yeah. could be way behind. But if they were to- to be in contact with us, yeah, yeah. they're definitely way advanced. Yeah, 100%. It, it can't be the opposite. can't be the opposite. Yeah. Or else it would be us finding them. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? Yeah, I asked you that because uh, there was um something I read about too. They held the UFO convention center Yeah, where they got a whole bunch of people that had contact with these extraterrestrials Yeah, and they told them to draw him mm-hmm. to draw or describe what you've seen. And yeah. every single one looked the same. It was, it was always like, it looked like a tall doctor that was white skin. Mm. And like white robes. Damn. Yeah. Damn white robes. Yeah, white robes. That's like the Uzi cover. <laughs> like the Uzi cover. Yeah, eternal take type thing. Yeah. yeah. That was like. That's why I asked you. Like, what? What do you think is? Yo, do you ever hear about that story when this guy, he was, he did so much studying about ancient aliens and research like this and that, and yeah. he did like rituals in his bedroom. No, I didn't. And he disappeared. What? <laughs> you um, never heard about that? No. I'm gonna look for the story, but okay, like, yeah. Yeah. There's this guy that was doing all this research about aliens and he had like paintings of him like joining aliens and he disappeared. No one found him. Oh shit. See, it's something like the government's government's definitely hiding something, bro. Cause look at it. Like if there is aliens, would you want to tell everybody? No, probably not. Probably not. Especially if it's not uh, a straightaway threat. Yeah. If it's like an ET type alien, where it's like, I come in peace. Yeah. Like, if it's not an <laughs> urgent threat, yeah. there's no way, like, we're going to know about it. Yeah, yeah. Right? They won't tell us that. Yeah, I know. Because if it's not an urgent threat, if, it, if it's, like, coronavirus, oh. and they're fuck- it's killing people then on site, then, gonna yeah, we're going to hear about it. Yeah. But if it's something, like, outside people, mm-hmm. or out, like, even look at it as a country. Yeah. If, f-ing, like, um, people from other country way back in the day, like came towards the uh, the new country yeah. and talked to like the king. Yeah. The king's not going to tell all these people right away. Exactly. They're just going to communicate with them, see what they want, yeah. what are they saying, right? That's what you said about the, the fairy and the elf stuff too. Mm-hmm. Like unless, unless you're not seriously harmed, why tell anyone? Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, even that, there was like, I've seen some, some asteroids. There was yeah. an asteroid built like a, a rocket ship. 
out in space or something what it's crazy bro i I truly believe there's there's way there's so many things out there that we haven't seen yet 100 percent, bro and there's also scientists are saying there's low-key a filter that stops us from seeing other things what do you mean so humans with our eyes yeah. we can only see up to ultraviolet or something like that oh, okay. or infrared or something yeah, yeah no we can't see infrared so we can only see up to ultraviolet i think that's the level because infrared is I like think, the, the i heat think i think yeah, yeah but anyways if our eyes look at look at a dog mm -hmm. right yeah. a dog can only see certain colors it can't see the color we see we, oh, yeah. it can't see the things yeah. we dogs see dogs are blind right yeah yeah now look at a dolphin a dolphin can can sense the waves yeah can sense waves a bat can sense sonar waves yeah. we can't see that stuff right mm -hmm. what if there's things out there yeah that are alive but we can't we see, can't them, see be them with our with our consciousness uh, with our consciousness uh, now it goes it goes into like people taking dmt and saying they saw aliens oh, they it goes saw? into that dang because i've read about dmt trips bro. Mm -hmm. it's crazy so a dmt trip it literally brings you into a different level of consciousness where you can see things that yeah. are low-key already there i know but you won't you won't take it in with just your regular consciousness right now yeah there's because it's literally you go into some other life type thing i've heard it's like it feels like you're dying type thing yeah yeah Pe people sense like that that's that's what it might be like when we die when we die yeah and now you can see all those those things that we can't see yeah now. a lot of people on dmt they have the same experience where they say it felt like an outer literally yeah. like you go you're disconnected from your body you're part of the universe mm -hmm. which which sounds like to, to other people that haven't taken it like i haven't it's, seen it yeah, but it sounds stupid. it it's sounds crazy. it sounds crazy it sounds unfathomable which yeah. is understandable right yeah. but if all of those people have similar experiences then, then damn it is right yeah, that's true yeah like yeah. who knows what if this like a, this is kind of bringing it back to a simulation, but yeah. what if this like base right now, mm -hmm. like this reality, let's yeah. say, yeah. isn't like the final destination where we're supposed to be at, right? Yeah. Just like death, the afterlife, right? Yeah. What if we need something to take us to that, to that level or to that next tier what of where we're supposed that, to be? What do you mean take us to it? Like our consciousness. Oh. Now it goes into like spirit, yeah, see? spirits and like, all of that yeah it, it, it's really it's really interesting i don't no, know it is it is god damn <laughs> <laughs> you always come with this okay yo you ever hear you know who are you shafir is no i've heard i swear i've heard of him though who I, is he? so listen to this are you shafir was a comedian right oh now he did a live stream uh -huh. on his podcast where he took a huge dose of salvia you know what salvia is no nah. it's like a drug similar to marijuana okay no but this drug is like different mm -hmm. it's not it's not marijuana mm -hmm. it's it's very potent it's very strong it's yeah. very it's very different trip yeah are you Shafir took this on the podcast on the podcast he took it on the podcast live stream <laughs> now he passed out for two hours oh, what the fuck? he took i think like five or three hits he, oh, like okay. huge, he like he took huge doses right yeah, yeah, yeah he passed out for two hours uh -huh. in those two hours they were looking at him and he was just like out he was just out right <laughs> Now, when he woke up, yeah. he was so, so distraught. He was like, whoa, what is this? What's going on? Now, he said uh -huh. in those two hours where he was passed out, he said he was living in a different world with a job, a family, no. friends, a community for six months. And then when he woke up, it felt like six he was been he's been in six months but it was in reality just two hours like the ricky morty shit yeah oh my gosh and he was it like he woke up because he died type thing or he just no nah, I, don't, I don't i don't know exactly but he from from his words he said he was in this like underwater civilization underwater yeah i don't know yeah. he, he said he was underwater uh -huh. and he had this life with a family kids blah 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 like friends everything mm -hmm. like imagine a life like this and he was living in it for six months yeah but he woke up from that trip and it was just two hours really yeah that is so that's crazy that's what dmt it was a dmt or no salvia right he was taking salvia oh shoot it's crazy uh, bro nah. i gotta crazy. i gotta i gotta like research some drug stories because there's some crazy things yeah like even like the like we were talking in the last podcast mm -hmm. midsummer it's yeah it's crazy about shrooms and stuff like that mm -hmm. and all that and you're seeing all that yeah it's like what the hell but yeah the thing is though like this is real these substances are real i'm not i i do not promote yeah we, I was substances at all i do not promote that shit at all yeah but these experiences people have mm -hmm. it's not like 
oh, shit. It may sound fucking stupid. It may sound crazy. It may sound like out of this world. But yeah. what if what they're saying is like true experience from what they seen? You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Which is fair, you know? Yeah. If you choose to believe them or not. Like, there could be some secrets they've seen that we don't know about. Yeah, so, like, that drug you're talking about, the salvia thing? Yeah. Imagine people just, if they don't, um, they're not happy with their life there, they just take salvia and just go into some next life. It's fucked up, bro. It's fucked up. Do not take that. Do please, not take that. Please, Crazy. Yeah, Holy smokes. So, um, I, I, I remember I, I was watching the video. Mm-hmm. I was watching the video and I saw a comment. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like what if this life was all a trip and then you just wake up with your alien buddies what the hell <laughs> no i swear i've seen that on uh, the simpsons uh simpsons episode like that they just wake up in it oh aliens. how's your trip <laughs> yeah yeah like how's your trip type thing what if this this life is we're i'm telling you what if we just wake up and it's like dang Th- taken it's the funniest thing too because everyone says like yo these two are high bro we're, yo, bro, we're actually so <laughs> we're I, sober I don't drink or smoke exactly like fam like, exactly this is all our imagination we're actually sober <laughs> exactly like if you have a conversation with us bro yeah well we'll let your imagination run free yeah i'm telling you like loki we have fun at parties like Oh, yeah. People go to parties and, and they have to drink yeah, and shit dude. to have fun. We go to parties sober and we still have fun. Exactly, bro. Not like every party, but like we go to parties sober and we have a lot of fun. 100. Because it really just depends on the energy. If you're if you're showing mm. the energy, that's all I need. Exactly, yeah. Like, bro, I was in S trip and mm-hmm. that's like the grad trip for anything, right? Yeah. Everyone out there uh, smoking, everyone's high, everyone's yeah. having like this. But fam, I was sober the whole time. I had a great time. Exactly. You don't if need you all of that. You yeah. don't need all of that. To each of their own, if you want to yeah, do that you, stuff, that's, that's for you. Yeah. That's for you, right? If you get a benefit or it helps you, please. Go. Yeah. Like, like who, are, who are we? If, that, if that's what makes you happy, sure. But like, just be careful. Yeah. Make sure you know what you're doing. And don't just fall into the consumerism of like, all of these rappers are doing it. Maybe I should do because it, it looks cool. Yeah. Um. All these, all my friends are doing. It. Maybe I should do it because it looks cool. Nah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Nah. Like be yourself, bro. Like the coolest, in my opinion, the coolest thing <laughs> is just like saying fuck all that. Yeah. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna copy you guys. I don't need your influence. I don't need to be like you guys. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna do because I think this is what's right for me. The most important uh, thing that someone told me while coming up in like this fashion and clothes game. Yeah. It's just th- the person who who messes with himself the most mm-hmm. will be at the top because that's that's genuine. It's genuine. Yeah. You're not copying. You're not taking anyone else's exactly. style. That's yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And people, the people that recognize that will cling on to you. And mm-hmm. I promise. And people like, they've been asking us like, yo, how'd you start your business type thing? Mm-hmm. And whenever someone tells me, like build your personal image first. Because if they trust you and yeah. your personal image, they're going to buy the stuff you like because they trust you. That's true. You know? I agree. I agree. Yeah. You have to know this is, because building building let's say a clothing brand yeah building a clothing brand is an art form it's hard bro it's literally art form like yeah you have to you can't just i want to make a brand i'm i'm gonna call it this i'm gonna put that title on my t-shirt, on my t-shirt. That's, that's- nah like you can try that it's not gonna work mm-hmm. it's not gonna work you have to have a meaning behind it you have to have a message behind it yeah. it's a form of art yeah. people don't buy art because of I said this before. They don't buy art for just the materials put together. Yeah, exactly. They buy the art for the message and the story behind it. 100%. Just like movies, just like anything. Yeah. They buy it for the message behind it or the story that's attached to it. Yeah. Because we didn't start our bands right away. We didn't just put a t-shirt mm-hmm. out like that. Yeah. You know, we've been building this kind of rep... Uh, what do you call it? Rep- reputation, I guess. Reputation, reputation. yeah. For years. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't come right away. Yeah. Yeah. And you also build your... Build your ideas, yeah. build your creativity, exactly. things that you enjoy, things you don't like as much. Yeah. And you kind of build your resume of like, these are the type of aesthetics I like. Exactly. This is what I'm going to add into my yeah. things, right? Before all those aesthetics pages had, I had an aesthetics page. Mm. Like way before 2017, 2018. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to say I was the first. To do that. <laughs> there was definitely a lot of people first to do that, but. There's a early, lot of people that do that. Early stages. But now I see. There's different aesthetics. You have the cyber. Mm-hmm. There's crazy now. It's yeah. crazy how it evolved. It's dope. We're living in a different time. Yeah, we really are. It's so like art. Yo, if you look at in ancient Greece, mm-hmm. little pieces of art back then, mm-hmm. we would look at it now and be like, wow, that's amazing because <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like how many thousands yeah, of years yeah, ago? Yeah. yeah. yeah shit they might look at like a week sock with the reflective the on the facts. sock like years from now Facts. and be like 
whoa, this is like ancient art. Yo, you know, what, you know what I thought about? You know how you have those old pictures of your dad and stuff right Yeah. Now, right? now it's like all the pictures are on our Instagram. What if we just show it to our little sons? And yo, our, our dads have I know. Our, our dads were slutty men. That's crazy. That'd be crazy. But the thing is, you like, you don't know what the style is going to be then. I know. Which is crazy too, yeah. right? What do you think? What do you think is going to look like? I don't know. It's so hard. It's I know. so hard. I, I feel like it's going to... I don't think you can ever predict fashion anymore. Yeah. Because everything moves so quick and everything dies so quick at the same 100%, time. 100%, yeah. It's so hard to predict. It's just trends. It's, because stuff... It literally is... Fashion is just trends coming back. Because mm -hmm. what, what, what came back... The vintage... Vintage will never die, but it, it'll have its low points, but yeah. it'll always come back. Yeah, it will you always know? come back, but I feel like it always gets like revamped somehow. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Like... Someone will bring back like, um, let's say overalls. Yeah. Shit, no one has brought back overalls in a while. I, mean, I just took yeah. that in. I mean, yeah. But let's say, let's say, let's say overalls. And then someone could make like a new type of overall with mm -hmm. like different type of pockets, maybe cargo oh, pockets or whatever. You, you know, um, someone's was, looking to steal that. <laughs> no, there was a theory about, um, you know how uh, Harry Styles wore a dress? Yeah. There was a theory that, or someone else wore a dress and they're trying to normalize this masculinity thing. Mm -hmm. that, and they're saying that, Illumin that Harry Styles is part of the Illuminati, and he's pushing that he's pushing that uh, more feminine way of fashion. But well, why is Illuminati though? I don't know, cause the, you know how they just try to dictate stuff. I mean, for me, when I see something like that, I I, I see it as just like he's trying to break free of a certain pattern, and he's trying to get noticed for that. I guess, yeah. Feel me? But I've seen I've seen a lot of fashion trends more become more feminine. Like before, it's all like. The big chains hanging yeah, yeah. down low, mm -hmm. but now as time comes by, the chokers. Yeah, you know why? Yeah, it's because male fashion is very simplistic. Yeah. Like we don't have a lot to, to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, females have so many different things. So, so many, so many different pieces. Yeah. So many different types of clothing. Like you can get a dress. You can get a tunic. You can get like a cardigan. You can get so many different things that yeah. dress like whatever, right? Yes, bro. Guys don't really have all, like, all of that. Yeah. So look, like Lil Uzi was wearing girls clothes too. <laughs> bro, bro, rappers now say that, yo, I don't shop at men's anymore. There's no option. But at the same time, it's it's a lot of, they're trying to get attention from that too. Because mm. even, even Cause in, in, in rock and roll era, yeah, they used to wear like, you know Motley Crue? No. I it's a rock band. Okay. They used to wear girls clothes. Oh yeah? Like even poison, they used to wear girls' oh, clothes. They used to have a really poison. long hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. girls' clothes, like really tight pants, you know. Yeah. Okay. Crop tops, like they used to wear that. Yeah, stuff. but like the fashion men's, like I, I guess they're doing it for attention, but at mm -hmm. the same time, it's like that's their steez, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, the, but there's definitely. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hating on those steez, like it's it's drippy, it's drippy. Yeah, yeah. But like I feel like at the same time, it is to to get that attention too. That attention, yeah, yeah, to get that attention. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. But like even like I've seen the braids. Yeah. And like bejewels, yeah, yeah, bejewels, that's so sick to me too. Like now it went from bejeweled to diamonds. Yeah, now yeah, they're yeah. diamonds. Like that's crazy. Mm. Like fashion is crazy. Yeah, but yeah, I see so many. Yo, you want to hear a theory about gold? Why everyone wears gold? Why? I, I don't wear gold. So this is episode of Rick and Morty. Yeah, where they see a, a car battery, uh -huh. and then Rick's like, "Why is this car battery not working?" Okay, so he goes inside the car battery. He shrinks himself and goes into the car battery. And this whole car battery is a universe in itself with a world that's working to create battery power. Okay. So they, they're like mining something. Yeah. And then they're creating this this uh mineral and they put it in a machine to create the thing? that fuels that whole thing. Okay, yeah, I, I can now listen, it. what if the whole world is actually something like that where we collect something and we're actually feeding into a bigger purpose. Uh, now, ancient civilizations from the beginning of time, uh -huh. what did they all after? Where were they all after? <laughs> whether it be like Spanish, yeah. whether it be like the Egyptians, they were all after gold. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rappers right now, what are rappers wearing? Gold, diamonds, but why? Yeah, diamonds. But why? I don't know. Tell me. Gold, yo, gold is not even that rare. Oh, yeah? No, I, I, I swear. Like, gold is rare. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But gold is not even that rare. But there's definitely like other types of things that are out there that are more rare than yeah. gold. Yeah, that it, makes sense. We can recreate diamonds. Yeah. You know I mean, like yeah. you can synth synthesize diamonds. Yeah, like, you know, the amethyst, the rubies. Yeah. Yeah. We can make all that shit. But why are they still mining and why are they still creating? What if there's a bigger meaning behind it? What if there's a bigger purpose? Loki, there's a theory yeah. that <laughs> aliens brainwashed us <laughs> no, it comes to back get aliens. gold and they're going to come back one day and then take all the gold we collected because it fuels something they need. Okay, nah. I, I, <laughs> you're out of pocket with that one, fam. I know. It's just crazy. I, this is not my theory. It's yeah. not my theory. But imagine... Okay, listen, listen. Yeah. 
No, but imagine, cause, cause, what if, what if, what if we're meant, what if we're meant to like mine something and collect all of this shit? So somebody else just takes so it. someone else can come and take it. I swear, I swear, I've watching a, sh- I watched a show before like that, and it's, it's that's the exact plot. Mm-hmm. That's the whole plot. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's plausible. Like you yeah. know, I don't know. I swear that's just another. Simpsons but yeah, that is a reason. I'm not I gonna. I swear like, that is a Simpsons episode, bro. Nah, that that's Rick and Morty. Oh, it is. It's Rick and Morty. Yo, but it's crazy how the the Simpsons predict everything. Yeah. Have you heard about that? I don't know. Yo, do you think it's just a coincidence or? <sighs> It's hard. Or, or do you it's think it's some? It's something they're trying to warn us. Okay. Do you think if you had a cartoon show, yeah, would you hire like a psychic to predict stuff? That probably wouldn't go through my mind. That wouldn't go through my mind either, right? Yeah. But like, what if it did go through someone's mind and they did make cartoons that predict stuff? Then, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Who, whoever at the end credits, <laughs> whoever's written by, yeah, we need to capture that guy. Still, <laughs> there, there must be something on his head. That's crazy. like look, because th- I'm I'm thinking like hella deep into it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> what if what if um there is a cartoon that did hire like a psychic to predict shit? That might be The Simpsons, bro. Because they you never they, know the the vaccine. Fucking Trump. Yeah, Trump being Trump, president. Yeah. But they also predicted. I don't know if it was real or just a Photoshop picture. But he Trump dead. If that happens, bro. Oh my god. Sure. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll actually believe, bro. It's it's crazy. Yeah, they predicted a lot of stuff. But yeah, who knows, man? The world is a mystery. It really is. The world is a mystery. Yeah, bro. What are you doing for Christmas? For Christmas? Just chilling? Just chilling with the fam. Yeah, that's good, fam. I, I don't even play games like that anymore. I might just play some what, card or video something. Video games? Yeah. I hate video games, Loki. I know. Like, I don't even play video games. <laughs> if like you're that. a hustler, uh, I forgot what Boosie said. If you're a hustler, do not buy the PS5. Stick to your hustle, fam. Nah, it's not that, like, I, I don't hate video games, but, like, I never find time to play. Yeah, because we have no time, bro. Yeah. It's always a constant go. Yeah, it's kind of sad because when when I was little, like I used to love playing Xbox. I used to love yeah. playing Halo, Game Boy. Halo, come home, play Halo. Like I'll play for hours, right? Yeah, bro. But right now, it feels like whenever I'm playing it, I feel like I'm wasting like time. I could be doing something else. Yeah. But I don't hate on 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 video games. I, I love it, right? Yeah, yeah. I just wish I still had that that feeling towards games. Yeah, Loki, I miss it. I miss it. It's like a piece that's missing for me now. Oh yeah, it's kind of sad. So it is <laughs> Loki. Go play a game after this, bro. <laughs> I try though. That's the thing. I yeah. try. But then it's like I try, and then I'll play for like thirty minutes. Oh yeah. Which is kind of sad, bro. Thirty minutes, not even. Maybe I'm just growing up. Yeah. No, it is all growing up, bro. Yeah. Damn. I think everyone gets to that stage though. Yeah, I- I've gotten to that stage a long time ago. But we're still hella young. One hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, one end right there. Yeah. I don't know. I right, go merch. We have we have t-shirts coming out. Bangers. Bangers. Yo, we got some fire for y'all soon. Facts, facts. Don't sleep on the merch. Yeah, facts. We're gonna drop that for y'all soon. I think this episode is gonna come out on Christmas. Yeah. Um about to so eat happy Christmas. holidays to you guys. Shout Hope you guys, you guys have a good Christmas. We celebrate. Hey. hey. And yeah. Alright, jump or jump out. Right, deuces.